Greetings, viewers. We are here on Route 7. Is that a new mon already? What is that? What is that? Oh, no, it's a... What? Persiker? Wait, is this a Galarian Meowth evolution? It's not a Persian. This is very odd to me. It's Steel type, I know that for sure, and I don't want to kill it. If I can, I want to catch it. Okay, that was a crit, that was kind of bad. I've never flinched with Bite, not once. I love watching this, it's my favorite thing to do in the entire world. If I could just watch Fury Swipes for the rest of my entire life, like hit five times every single time, that would literally be the greatest thing ever. There we go, there's the flinches I'm looking for. But anyway, I would love to watch Fury Swipes. If I, if I could just watch like one of those YouTube videos that's like Fury Swipes for one hour, I would do it. I would love watching it so much. It's so fun when you just like have to have so much delay. All right, doesn't matter. You're in you're in catch range. That's so weird. Meowth, like it went to a Persian last time, like a Lolan Persian. But this time it's like Persis, whatever it said on the screen. The Pokemon broke free, I already forgot. Persecker, Persecker. It's a very odd that, yeah, here we go. Fury swipes again. There we go. We got the Persecker. I don't even know what to call this thing. That was very odd. I did not think it, I saw like a Galarian Meowth. It just looks like a Galarian Meowth with like accessories. It honestly does. It's very odd. After you? No, that's a dumb move. We don't need to learn after you. So what, when it appears to be in an iron helmet is actually hardened hair. Oh, what appears to be an iron helmet. Okay. The po Pokemon lives for the thrill of battle. Yeah, I can already tell. It looks very scary. So Nope will be your name. <laughs> Goodbye, Nope. Uh, actually, off screen, I did catch. Uh, I'll show it maybe in like a battle. Okay, let's fight you real quick, you Lipard skinning model. As a model, I show off the appeal of my partner Pokemon. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've heard it all before. Also, was that Route 8 like right over there? That means Route 7 is really, really short. My goodness. But anyway, um, the uh, little teacup Pokemon. I caught that. Forget what it's called. It's like Scylla... Scylla Cup? No. Is it called Scylla Cup? I already forgot. I named it Spook Pal, though. And uh, I caught one. And it's very cute. So it'll be on our team for a while. Maybe I'll level it up so that we can use it in battle. Pollen Puff. What does that do? It does nothing. Because I'm Bunko. Flame Wheel. Destroy. Mm, I like how it just, like, flattens out and then just turns into a wheel. <laughs> I mean, that's just its uh, physical attacking animation. It's just very funny to me. <laughs> it just flattens out and then wheel time. Okay, is that it? Vespa Queen. Okay, I can I can tank that. Vespa Queen isn't very fast. I think it's like, meh, fast. But even if it can attack... Oh, shoot, it might have a flying move, though. No, it probably has, like, attack order or something. Attack order isn't even that, like, good. Flame wheel. Yeah, I'm faster anyway, so I'm gonna one-shot because I'm Bunko. Okay, I'm not Bunko today. Yep, attack order, like I said. Oh, I love that animation now. The I the only time I remember attack order is by using it. Oh, frick. I didn't mean to do that. It was Joy-Con Drift. Um, but it'll probably kill anyway, right? Yeah, it'll kill. Yeah, I know it's not resisted. But uh, the attack order in uh, um, the Sinnoh, like Gen 4, it just looked like a bunch of bees surrounding the person. But now that's just like it just shoots out a bunch of little baby bees. What a great trainer you are. You really showed the off the appeal of your partner Pokemon. Yeah, I did. I know. I know. I'm just that good. Uh, huh, can I not go this way? You can't, you just can't silence Team Yell! She's cute, she's tough, she won't take no one's guff! Or Marnie, she's or Marnie! Uh-huh, yeah, glad to hear you're practicing your cheers over there, Yell boys. Oh, speaking of Marnie, here's a freaking more Pekko. There it is, the freaking hangry mode itself. So I know it's always electric dark. So then what exactly changes when it turns into its hangry mode? I don't really remember. All right, I'm gonna go for flame wheel. I'm gonna try and catch this thing. Torment, okay. So many Pokemon in the wild have Torment now, which I'm actually kind of fine with. Um, how much does this do, though? Do, like, a good amount. Get down into yellow. Okay, burn. That's good. Whenever there's a status um, effect on a Pokemon, I think it gives it a much higher chance of being caught. But I know sleep is, like, the best. Okay, yeah, now you're in your stupid hangry mode. What's the... What's the difference? I don't understand. All right, get in the ball, more Peko, please. Stay. I don't want to see your hangry mode ever again. Hangry is like the stupidest term I've ever heard on the entire internet. And it should be buried under a rock somewhere out in, I don't know, Jamaica? Who knows? Spook Pal, leveling up. Good job, Spook Pal. Giga Drain? Um, aren't you a ghost type? Yeah, you are a ghost. Do you become ghost grass? 
You can protect Sucker Punch or Aromatherapy. Okay, let's just go. Mega Drain can stay there in case you run out of Giga Drain. I don't even know if I'll be using Spook Pal. I was like, you know, Spook Pal's cute. Might not just join the team for a little while. I did have to replace Brilliant, though. Okay, so more Pekka, what are you up with? As it eats the seeds stored in its pocket like pouches, this Pokemon is just not satisfying its constant hunger. It's also generating electricity. All right. Well, good for you. I couldn't think of anything funny, so hanger it is. <laughs> or just hanger. The coat hanger or whatever. Oh, I don't really want to fight you, but hey there. Being a taxi driver means I've got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon, why are you a taxi driver? Don't we have taxi Pokemon? Whatever. Um, also, I just saw an Inkay back there. I think I already have an Inkay, but now I think about it. Do you have to hold the switch upside down also if you want to evolve the Inkade? Because doesn't Inkay evolve by holding the thing upside down? Okay, this is actually bad. Um, no, Corvus Squire, it probably won't have any, like, it'll probably have, like, Pluck. That won't one-shot me. I'm Bunko. I'm Bunko. That won't one-shot. I'm getting really lucky with these burns. Drill Pack. Oh, that's Drill Pack. Okay, that's only going to do half damage. Okay, that wouldn't have even killed. That was really pathetic, thanks to the burn. Burn is... That was actually a really lucky burn right there. I mean, Flame Wheel, it's got like a, what, 10% chance to burn? I think? I've got like two of them, like, in the past 10 minutes. All right, I guess... What, how long have I been recording? Seven minutes and 53 seconds, so... <laughs> All right, let's keep going, Bunko. Fire Spin? No. Ew, no. Why? Why Fire Spin? Jamwing, Swagger... No, stop learning garbage moves, everybody. Jeez. Learn, like, freaking Hyper Beam or something. I saw the animation for Hyper Beam uh, by accident. It looks really cool, though. It looks really, really cool. Rufflet. Uh, you... Are you... No, you're just flying normal, right? You're not water. No, you're not water. 100% you're not water. Yeah, you're not water. Slash. I think you're just normal flying. That's... Uh, maybe you're not normal. Maybe you're just flying. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not paying attention. Die. Why is Rufflet in this game? Rufflet's a forgettable mon. It's definitely a forgettable mon. Actually, think about it now. You never had a lot of birds. You never had a lot of birds. Actually, I guess that makes sense. They tried to, like, make an entire Pokedex on its own. Just standalone Unova. Okay, whatever. No matter where I go in my taxi, loss and loneliness seem to follow. Uh-huh. I like how his uh, mouth is, like, completely draped open. Draped open. Uh, those live parts look different for a second. Okay, well, here we are. Route 8. I'm not even pressing any buttons. That was literally just me running because of joy contest. Whoa! This is a cool-looking route. Rufflets all around, all sorts of stuff. All right, I'm climbing. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna have to climb. I have to climb just to get, find a sign. Trainer tips? I don't care about trainer tips. Oh, frick, that stupid rufflet. No. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> I do. All right, that's it, soft. It killed it with the aerial ice. I tried to catch it like twice, but this time, disarming voice. This shouldn't do too much. Tailwind. Okay, now you're faster. You were already faster to begin with, so it doesn't even matter. Keep going for just go tailwind like 800 times. Stop going for aerial ace, please. All right, that does nothing. Soft. You're trash. Oh my gosh, I should have just gone for dazzling gleam. I thought it would have killed though. Gosh, I'm overestimating you, soft. Not, what's with the speed? You're you're already faster. Jeez. There, I caught it. Stupid rufflet. My goodness. This thing gave me trouble. It took like eight balls. That was a lie. It took four. <laughs> I just like to over-exaggerate things because I don't like it when it doesn't go in like the first three times. Uh, yeah, we already know about rufflet. Yeah, okay, cool. I did not mean to caps lock it, but its name is Dinner. I'm eating it for dinner tonight. Just leave me alone. I don't want to fight you anymore. Don't want to fight you. Look at that. Level 39 was the rough level. What is your level going to You're probably going to have like level 36. I shall now examine or closely examine the health of your Pokemon. Yeah. Um, can you do that without killing them, please? Doctor. So you're a doctor and you like Pokemon battles, huh? Okay. Roselia? You're really throwing out a grass type against me. I'm Bunko, man. I'm Bunko. I am actually... Yeah, 36, like I said. Why do you have... Why do you have such weaker mind than the wild Pokemon? It's like the opposite. It is so strange. Well, whatever. Actually, my first, uh, I don't know if I ever said this before, my first ever shiny Pokemon was a Roselia. A level, a female level 28 Roselia, and it was completely random, and I caught it in my Pokemon Pearl or Pokemon Platinum. One of the two. It was one of those two, and that was my first and only random shiny encounter. I've had no other random shiny encounters in this, in, like, in my entire life. I've had shiny Pokemon where I've, like, hunted for them occasionally. Hatchrim. Okay, I already have a Hatchrim, but I didn't want to send mine because it probably would have died because it's kind of weak right now. 
Uh, let's go, Bug Bite. This should one shot. Knowing Hatchrim and how weak they are. I like how it's called Hatchrim and it just has a hat. It's very cute. I like the Hatchrim line so far. Is that the final evolution? Maybe there's one more. I feel like there's one more. If it's like those like little baby ones. Okay, when Pokemon aren't healthy, it drags our mood down too. Uh huh. Nice ID there. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of I was kind of hoping like eh, maybe I'll just run into a random shiny Pokemon while I'm recording. That'd be really cool. Especially if I could like be recording and also find one. I would love that. Leave me alone, Rufflet. I don't want to fight you. Stop. I wanted to go get that item back there, but you were gonna chase me and encounter me, and I don't want to fight you anymore. I already fought like three of you. Dude, this is like a maze. Am I even go? No. Hold up the ladder. What the heck is that? What's that thing in the cave? It's a freaking Mario enemy. What is that? Smart strike. Isn't that like a meh attack, I think? Uh, yeah, I think it's steel. What the heck is that? Why is it so long? Does it end? It does end. Is it... Is it six Pokemon or is it one? I think it's six. No, I mean one. I think it's just one. Oh, thanks for blocking the middle of the road, jerk. Jeez, it's like walking in the school hallways. Ah, frick. Look at this, level 40 in the wild, calm down. The trainers have level 36s, calm down. Just a little bit, Girder, just a little bit. Well, I did my best to catch that Girder and I burned it after two flame wheels and it had like, I had like seven opportunities to catch it. Not exaggerating that time, I think it was seven balls. And it just, it just didn't want to go in. It shook like three times the very first ball and then it was always like one or two shakes after that. I was like, leave me alone, jeez. Ruthless pursuit. Just leave me alone, especially the rough, they are annoying. I already caught a Rufflet, but the Girder. Okay, so what What are you? What the heck are you doing? Uh, um, Phalanx. Phalanx? 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 What the heck are you? You're probably a bug. I think? Also, you what? No retreat. What the? What the heck? What's... What was that? What? Up, 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 up. Oh, yo, that's actually crazy. That's actually kind of crazy. Can you use that twice? Endure. The big one. This is a very interesting mon. No retreat. Okay. Well, that didn't do much. What? Frick, I didn't mean to coil. You can use it again. Oh, no, you can only use it once. Okay, so that's not broken. Never mind. I'd say if you could use that more than once, that would be broken. But it's so cute, though. It's just like five little... Th okay, stop it, Joy-Con Drift. Please, let me use Flame Wheel. Stop. Okay, you can... Yeah, no retreat. That was a very cool one-time move, but it's it's over, guys. Come on. Oh, that was a crit. No? Okay, I want to catch this thing. This is a very unique mod. Phalanx. Phalanx. Phalanx? I think it is Phalanx. Oh, Lynx. Isn't that like a um an animal that like follows that like follow each other? Am I right there? I don't know if I am. First impression. It, what's is your only attacking move the uh thing that you already did? I forget even what your attacking move was, but you have like three status moves, that's perfect for catching. Actually your catch rate's probably insanely low. You have endure? No, you have endure, first impression. Um, the freaking no retreat. What else do you have? Finally, oh my gosh. It kept shaking three times, like uh, like five or six times it shook three times. And then it just popped out. It also killed Bunko while it was at it, but geez. That's a relatively tough mod, my goodness. For Lynx, or for Lynx, okay. Five of them are troopers and one of them is the Brass. The Brass's orders are absolute. Yep, I'm pretty sure if it's like falls off a cliff, the rest will too. Oh my goodness. All right, since I'm a lad of dumb, I don't know what to name it, so I'm gonna call them lads of dumb. <laughs> All right, this we've spent a long time at least catching these mods. Oh, what is that? Now oh, it's a Toga tomorrow. Okay, I don't really want to fight a Toga tomorrow right now. I'm really not in the mood to fight a Toga tomorrow. Big Nugget. That's my first big nugget. Dreepy. What the heck? Uh huh. We're running into a lot of new mons here. We got Dreepy, we got the Lynx thing that I fought that I already forgot the name of. I just know it has something to do with Lynx. It's not very effective, but it one-shot? Must have very low defense. It's probably a very glass cannon mon. I mon. At least I, that's what I'm expecting. 36, Spook Pal. Okay. Uh, Volibi. Okay, yep. Bring out me the stupid egg. The egg Pokemon. Egg Bird. 
This is a stupid mod. This is a stupid mod. This is a forgettable mod, in my opinion. Forgettable mod. <laughs> Although, um, freaking Mandibuzz is kind of cool. Iron defense. Oh, thanks. Thanks for wasting another of my turns. Please appreciate it. Uh, backpacker lady. Forgot your name already. All right, I'm gonna go bug bite. I need to save my flame wheels. I need to burn things. <laughs> All right, two of those will finish. One more will finish you off. Whirlwind? Oh, come on. Come on. Spook Pal. Okay, this is actually... I kind of want to check out Spook Pal. So Spook Pal... Uh, uh, you probably can't even kill with a Giga Drain. It's not Stab, and it's, it's not very effective either. Come on. Uh, not close enough. Nope, it's probably going to go for like Night Slash now and kill you. Pluck? I'm not a Grass type. Spook Pal. Okay. Well, I'm still faster, so that didn't even matter. At least Spook Pal is getting some action, though. That's that's the important thing. Spook Pal is getting action. I probably, maybe a Sucker Punch would have killed. No, Sucker Punch would have killed. It's, uh, its special attack is much better. There we go. Look at it. It has, like, a little hand on the teacup. Or, like, it's, like, knocked off. It, like, punched the teacup handle out and it used its own hand as the lit or as the cup part. That's very cute. I like this Pokemon's design. Just enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Why there's so many peep? I didn't even have to battle you. I'm not gonna fight him right now. I'll go fight him later. Whew, I've had to deal with too much on this route already. Ah, uh, no. Not gonna bother with you either. The little Lynx thing. King's Rock. Hmm. I should put that on one of my mons. Ah, uh, frick, no. I see you. Don't think you can get me, because you're not gonna get me. You can't sneak past me. Uh, are those trainers back there? They are. Why would I bother? Oh, is that a snowy place? It is. It is a snowy Route 8. This is still... Was that Route 7? But it said... Oh, it was like a Route 8 is up here. Okay, what's this? Two star pieces. Is this a mod I haven't encountered yet? Snom. Hmm. It's cute. What is it? It's like a little... It's like one of those dinky little whale plushies that you see online that's like stuck in a snowflake. Has anyone ever seen those, like, little whale plushies that literally are just like a bead? Oh, shoot, I one-shot it. I'm sorry, Snom. <laughs> Look at its little eyes. It was like, Wah! Had, like, the actual uh, squiggly lines of how they do in the anime. That's a very cute mon. I like Snom. Uh, I don't like you, though, Mr. Smiley Man. Jim Challenger, if it's all right, I'll be your training partner. Um, it's not all right, actually. I would prefer you to leave me alone, Bobby. God dang it, Bobby, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm sorry for the bad impression, but it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, frick. This is actually, like, the worst matchup. Because Arcanine has Flash Fire. That's literally, this is literally the worst matchup. I cannot go up against Arcanine's with Bunko. Oh my goodness, I cannot. Slippers, get out here. He's gonna go for Will-O-Wisp, I'm calling it. He's calling it. He's gonna make the read. He's making the read. This guy, look at his soulless eyes. His freaking soulless eyes. Like, yeah. Roar. He's bringing out the Bunko again, isn't he? It's gonna go into Bunko. Soft. Okay, Soft's hitting the field. He's gonna use Flare Blitz now. I guarantee he's got Flare Blitz on deck. He's got Roar, Flare Blitz, Hydro Cannon, and Explosion. <laughs> I, that's exactly what he has. Extreme Seed. Oh, that's actually a pretty tough move. It's like a better quick attack. <sighs> Freaking Soft. That does no damage. That does no damage. Use Roar. Use Roar. Shell Bell. Shell Bell. Shell Bell. <laughs> no, I do not want to fight with Soft. Thunder. He made the read. He made the hard read. Oh my goodness. You went Thunder Fang instead of freaking E Speed? This Arcanine, I'm telling you, he's got Hydro Cannon on deck. He's going to use it and it's going to one shot me. <laughs> Nope, because I put a little water needle through his brain and he's already dead. Bye, Arcanine. Now nah, Bolton's back. Doesn't matter to me, though, because we're flame wheeling. Hopefully it'll take him out. He's got Crunk. I resist that, right? No? Buck doesn't resist Dark? I thought it did. I know it's super effective against Dark. I guess it just doesn't resist Dark. I feel, like it should. I feel like it should, though. Gosh, I've got hiccups from the freaking hail. Hail gives me hiccups. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm bug biting you. I'm going to bite your ear off. You can try and bite my flames off, but I have a flame mustache, so it doesn't matter to me. But you know what matters to you? Your ears. You can't hear without your ears, and now they're mine. Sorry. Took them. Don't have them anymore. You're, you're deaf. 
Sorry, Mr. Man. You wanted to be a training partner? Sorry, I bit off your ears. I'll go bite his off ears, too. Bunko, uh, Bunko, Bunko, Punko, Lunko, Runko. Ho, ho, ho. I will come on. Did their best, but they can't. Couldn't compete. Good luck in the future. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Well, here we are. And what is that, Mon? This is a very nice looking town. That's Sniffleheim from Dragon Quest. I mean, uh. Is that a hot spring? Huh. Is that the ice type gym? I'm imagining it's the ice type gym since, uh. Since they are, um. Bruh. What am I trying to say? Oh, uh, I can't think of it. <laughs> since we are in a snowy place, that's what I'm trying to say. That is a very pretty, uh. Oh. Icicle Spear? Can I please stop getting multi hit TMs? Why are there so many? There's like Pin Missile, Bullet Seed, Icicle Spear. Do people even use those moves besides like Sincino with that, uh. Forces it to use five? I don't know. Then you can use like King Rock, King's Rock flinch strategies. Okay, this doesn't really look like an ice thing. And I heard that two of the gyms are different. Oh, hey there, Hop. Oh, within Sword and Shield. Ugh, I lost. It all went to pot. Oh, he took a loss again. Hop. Oh, I feel bad for him. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I just did what I have seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it. It's the rock leader's gym. Okay, it's rock. Ugh. You should check out the gym leader you'll have to face, too. Gordy. I don't know anything about Gordy. I only saw him in the, um, thing. And me. I've got to figure out what to put on my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting. Uh-huh, maybe you should bring your Wooloo back, Hop? Well, if it's rock, Jamwin can do a decent job with Steelwing. But this is mostly going to be Slippers' this fight, because I have two bug types, that's not very good. Soft can't do much. Spook Bell does have Giga Drain, so that could be helpful. But I think this is going to be Slippers' time to shine, so let's let's take a look in this gym. Of course, let's attempt the mission. Yep, okay, I already know how to do this stuff. I've done it quite a few times already. Make sure to see the Trap Detector up a Trap Detector. Oh no, Trap Detector. There's going to be traps... I don't like the sound of this. I do not like the sound of this. Rock type gym. Half of my team is decent against rock, half of it is bad. Uh huh. Oh, it's you again. Hello. Um. What? Is this my trap? Okay. <laughs> Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in <laughs> Sir Chester? Then allow me to explain a little about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. Oh my goodness. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Uh, then on with you and good luck. Thanks. So vibration, huh? Can you hear me? Try to feel your way through. Trust your senses. Okay, the Joy-Cons are rumbling, so not that way. Uh, Joy-Cons. Alright, this was relatively easy. Are there I No, there's usually no items in the gym. So I don't think there's going to be any items that I'm going to be missing. Well, <laughs> she's just like, huh, you're going to lose. Sorry, kid. Like, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Boldor. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to deal with, like, so many sturdy mons. They're all going to have sturdy. Alright, slippers. I had to save your snipe shot, so I'm going to go water pulse. Go for that water pulse. It's probably going to have sturdy anyway, so... Two-shotting it will be better. No sturdy? Really? Okay, Bulldor. You don't have sturdy. That's very odd. 42, 43. There we go. Ah, we're getting up there in levels, Abigail. You only had one Pokemon, that was it? I battled so confidently. I see you've got to have confidence. All right. I mean, yeah, you got to have confidence on your winning. I mean, just look at Hop. He doesn't have the most confidence in the world, and he's not doing too great. So can I go? Not this way. Uh, no, not that way. What? Then what way? Can I go around? No, no, that's a fault. Frick! <laughs> uh, can I go around? And then, uh, that, 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 that. Hold on. Uh, down. And then... Yeah, there we go. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Do I get to see where they all are now? Uh huh. Okay, so I can even go back if I really want to. That's it. That's the ticket. Take a deep breath. Focus. Oh, now it's bigger. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just walked straight on through. There's one there. There's one really close nearby. Uh 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 uh. 
<laughs> just went, just went for it. Okay, rock types are really, 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 really amazing. <laughs> are they? They're like my least favorite type, honestly. Eh? I'm doing the same pose as you, Kiara. Go ahead. Make that like, meh, whatever. Crustle. Okay, I'm sorry. I got Crustle's name wrong in like a few episodes ago. I called it, uh, Crab Aminable, which is like the freaking, uh, fighting ice crab thing. Okay, that's it. Water pulse? Water pulse. Water pulse! One shot! Yeah, that's right. I just see slippers. Slippers gonna make this gym so easy. So, so, so easy. It's gonna be pathetic. Slippers, you're gonna be like level 46 by the time we end this. Kira, sorry. Did I make you understand how amazing rock types are? Not, not really. Not really, sorry. They're, uh, they're really not that cool. I mean, they're alright, but they're not the best. Okay, what's up with you? Huh. Gordy's amazing qualities, number one! He's cool and fast, but I have to check out his trainer card, too. That's right. I forgot to do that. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Oliver. <laughs> You're gonna lose, man. <laughs> Look at this great ball. <laughs> it's cool, right? It's a ball. Oh, come on. This is pathetic. This is literally a fire rock. <laughs> you think I'm gonna lose to a carcoal? It's not even level- I fought a level 40 in the wild! Jeez! Why are the trainers weaker than wild Pokémon? And maybe that's just the theme of this region. Wild Pokémon are always stronger. Maybe the trainers just suck at training their bonds. Alright, Jamwing, you're not in the lead anymore. Now it is Slippers, once again. <laughs> Gordy's amazing qualities. Number two, he's lively and stylish! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, Oliver. Whatever you say. So can I get past, uh, that's probably the wrong way. Can I go up through here? Nope, that's probably the wrong way too. Can I go, uh, nope, that's, uh, nope, 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 yeah, uh, 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 nope, 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 Slowly. Yes, there we go. Phew. There was a lot right at that very end there, I think. All right, where were they all? Uh, huh? Yep. Okay, there was one right around there. I might be, it might be a bit harder to see now. Oh. You have to carry on not knowing what lies before you. What the heck? Uh, okay. Um, so I can only trust the freaking dowsing machine. That's nice. I can't, I can't, I can hardly tell. There's like so many of them right around here. Nope. Nope. Tch, tch, no rubbing your eyes. I can't, I have to hold this stupid machine. Uh, a platform. Here we go. There's probably a trainer in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it off on this little platform though. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna check out the uh, lead card from Mr. What's his face? Gordy. Gordy. So that's what you look like. Oh, this guy's actually pretty cool. So he's got um, <laughs> the rock type Pokemon are typically known for being unrun relentless. He uses them anyway. He's the people think he might be champion one day. Uh, he's achieved victory through a graceful battle style, and he tries to keep his fans happy, which is why his audience is like they're very popular with him. But he also when he loses, he tends to shut himself away in a locker room, which makes post-defeat interviews a rarity. But it doesn't bother his fans, though, because they think it's kind of endearing. So that's, that's kind of nice. Gordy seemed like a cool guy. But uh, we're going to face you off in the next episode, Gordy. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.